Well, we recently spoke with Dr. Trudy Pieper about the four components to natural health. A, B, C, and D, we got A and B. Yes. Now we need to talk about C and D. And C is kind of an exciting one that people don't really think about. But we have to activate our healing response by affirming our faith. We have to build our immune system so we stay healthy. But C is we have to cleanse our body. And God gave us the perfect way to do that. And very few people do it. We have to fast. And that word in itself has so many definitions and yes. so many meanings to different people. So how do you define it? All right, fasting is a biblical principle that we talk about. But for in health, when you are not eating, it allows your body time to heal. When you consume a meal, it takes 68% of your energy to digest that food. It diverts energy from your body from healing. So if you take something as simple as one day a month, and you just do fasting. And I consider fasting uh, fluids, more than water, fruits and juices. So you drink fruits and juices all day long. And then when it comes time for meal time, you take that time for prayer and meditation. You get your Bible out and your devotional, and you spend the, you give that time back to God. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a 24 hour period. For people who have a hard time with that, you can also do apples. So if you feel like you have to eat something, you can do four apples plus juices and you get the same benefit. So at your mealtime, you're cutting up an apple and eating that slowly. So do the 24 hour fast using the fruits and juices. You will feel so much better. You'll feel closer to God and your body functions so much better. Huh. And so I just recommend one day a month. Now, if you can do it more than that and you can do it one day a week, you will be surprised how, how better you feel. If you're having some severe health problems on a regular basis, a three day fast will help you doing the same way fruits and juices throughout the day um, and, and prayer time. And the, the benefits of that are spiritual and for your health. Wow, okay. And then the last letter, D. And then D is direct support. If you know in particular that you're having some specific, specific problems, <laughs> um, particularly if you're having problem balancing your blood pressure, or you have constant high blood pressure and your medicines do not seem to be helping. Um, then you want to look and work at herbs or natural ways to help those and directly support that area. And rather than doing a shotgun approach where you try to tackle everything that's wrong, you pick what's one that's giving you the most problems or it seems to be most important to you. So with blood pressure, as an example, you have to do the basics. You have to reduce your salt. You have to eat more vegetables. You have to reduce your weight. And you need to exercise regularly. If that's not doing it, then there's some little tips that you can do that will help. Almonds, raw almonds, a handful of those every day will help um, the arterial walls, will, um, they, they open them up so that the blood can flow more freely through there and helps with lower your blood pressure. K uh, cayenne pepper. Now, unless you're, you're a freak for heat no. and you really like that, <laughs> I can't you say probably that. only do this once or twice, but it is the quickest way to lower your blood pressure is to take cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of that, and some warm water with a little honey and chug that, and you will lower your blood pressure, but I think you only do it once or twice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Coconut water is rich in electrolytes and has been proven drinking on a daily basis will lower your blood pressure. Vitamin D, this was an interesting Studies have shown that people who do not have natural sunlight on a regular basis have higher blood pressure. Okay, so yeah. just by being outside 15 minutes a day, you can help lower your blood pressure. I believe that. I believe that affects well, our Well, when mental. people go on vacation, they're taking a sunny vacation, they're walking the beach and they feel so much better, you know, they know that they're being relaxed. But part of that is the sunshine. I believe Is that. helping the vitamin D into your system lowers your blood pressure. And uh, two others I really want to mention quickly is celery. Traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years has used celery. And celery is, uh, has a phyto phytochemical in it that acts as um, a vasodilator, which opens up the, the veins and forces the, the uh, blood flow through. So it lowers your blood pressure. It also is a natural diuretic, so it takes the extra fluids out of your body. Four ribs of celery a day will significantly lower your blood pressure.